The Samsung Galaxy S4 Active leaked in photographs. The first Jola Sailfish smartphone sees an announcement today, and AT&T commits to being nicer about video chat capabilities over cellular. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you do have a problem with Mondays, uh, trust me, I can tell you stories. This is Pocket Now Daily. We've finally gotten some photographs of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Active, and no, it's not a rubbery brick like many people were expecting, and it's not also identical to the Galaxy S4. The back is different, the front buttons are actually a little different, it seems that to comply with the waterproof standards, but aside from that, you are getting a minor downgrade. It seems that you will be getting the same processor, the same everything except for the camera. Instead of 13.1 megapixels, you're getting an 8 megapixel sensor on this phone, and the Galaxy S3 camera wasn't that bad, so stay Stay tuned as more leaks and rumors come up. And I'm gonna say this just like Steven Schenk wrote it on the post. AT&T commits to stop being a massive jerk about video chats over cellular. Nice one, Steven. Uh, the point being is the company has just come on record to state that they know that customers aren't happy about the fact that when FaceTime over 4G came over, well, nobody could use it except for those that had shared data plans. And apparently now the same problem is happening with Hangouts on Google. So point being is the company is committing to changing things by the end of this year. Uh, what did you think, that it was going to happen right now? What they're expecting is for you to actually forget it and by the time end of the year comes over, they're not going to do anything. That's the way it works. Now let's talk about Windows 8. We know the company is working on shrinking the form factor of their desktop operating system into smaller tablets, but we were waiting for that to happen by the end of this year, or whenever Windows 8.1 was launched. But we now have some leaked photographs of an apparently already official Acer Iconia W3 tablet. Specifications down below, this actually runs a full-fledged version of Windows 8 on an 8.1 inch display. So it's kind of interesting. We surely don't know when it's going to air on this side of the planet, but we'll keep you posted. Kind of interesting. Would you actually want a smaller version of Windows? Now let's move over to Android. We didn't get a new version of Android at Google I.O., but we have seen a ton of teasers in just about every presentation that they showed out there. Mentioning either the word key lime pie or showing an Android, you know, the robot being drawn, eating a key lime pie all over. It does seem that we will be getting a newer version of Android, be it key lime pie, not necessarily 4.3 jelly bean, or it could be that 4.3 is key lime pie actually, but stay tuned for the rumors as we most likely will be seeing something after Apple's WWE. DC. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, remember Jola from MWC, you know that company from ex-Nokia employees after the Meagle project and Symbian projects have died at Nokia? They launched this company and their operating system called Sailfish? Well, they not only launched Sailfish, they actually launched their first Jola smartphone. And well, they announced it. It's going to be available by the fall. But this phone, aside from the interesting specifications, has a very interesting concept towards smartphones, not necessarily in software. Software is beautiful, it's kind of unique, very interesting in the user interface, but aside from that, the interface actually depends on the back cover of the phone, meaning you can swap that back cover and add another back cover that includes a bigger flash or a different lens for the camera, or you can even include probably even a keyboard in the future. It's kind of interesting, the concept, imagine the idea of being able to expand your device like you could in the past with pocket PCs. You remember the compact iPads, the way they used to work with the sleeves? That concept was genius and I really don't know why it died, but anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, think about it. You've got Android, you've got iOS, and then you've also got Windows Phone and Blackberry. Do you really believe or do you really consider Jola to have an offering that's interesting to you? In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, you know the CEO from Jola made an interesting point. He said that the current operating systems that are ruling are five years old. And yes, they are five years old and the other operating systems haven't really taken off. So I am really interested in Sailfish. I am really interested in this expandable concept for a smartphone where OEMs and you know other collaborators can bring different sleeves or sorry, back covers for this phone. It's really interesting and I would love a smartphone that I could expand. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and telephone world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.